Here we go. All right, turn one. Let's see. Last last turn one was pretty smooth. Oh, hello. Let's go on the inside. Um, right. Let's see. Really, you just got to see who gets through it. All right. Else in there. Stems up front. See a little. Oh, that was, that was, that was Jeff Cohen. Yeah. Cones are just flying. Yeah. It. We're gonna have to really have a. You know, have a little go with that. It, with too many people, a little bit there, just going straight line through stuff. And uh, you know, in the race week, we definitely don't want to be having people taken out by someone that's just completely offline. Um, but uh, but everyone's pushing. You know, I like the I like the energy levels here. Everyone's pushing. Um, but uh, we just need to keep it clean because there's there's some stuff here that you kind of see that you'd actually pull them in for stop goes. Um, it is it is borderline dangerous a little bit um sure but but i think again ian's ian's on all that that's that's why he's down there these last two weeks and uh you know i'm uh, i'm up here with you mate you know getting stuck in into the hot into the like, there's that hot swap, <laughs> hot swap i feel like we need to yeah. run around a chair and do a hot swap you know? <laughs> um <laughs> but, uh, but no, this is good. So Nels has got a little stretch here, right? So we're, we're obviously on board with the STEM car here with, uh, with Zach. Um, this is great. If Zach can stick with Nels for a little bit, this will help him tremendously moving into future races, right? You know, to learn lines from a guy like this um, is great. I mean, look at how Nels gets out of that corner and he's just boom, gone. That's not car pace. I mean, car pace is there, but that's exit speed of a turn. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, look at him, just chuck it in. Boom. Wow. Awesome. Coming in. Well, he did pretty That's quick hard. there. Right? Yeah, he scrubbed a bit of speed there, but that's some good stuff. So I noticed actually that um, one of the STEM cars is running in red livery this week, just for the broadcast. There, obviously, Zach's normally in um, in the yellow STEM car, um, so he's running in uh, representing a little race in red. Uh, nothing wrong with a bit of red. Um, so uh, you know, just so we're watching that is Alessio. Having a little bit of a battle there with the uh, with Antonio in the Audrain car. <laughs> uh, you yeah. had a good one, Alessio. Had to give some space there. That was this is a tough little battle. Uh, I think um, Audrain's mirrors probably aren't working too good uh, there. <laughs> so, a little trip there. Some, yeah. Um, some 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 um, positive racing. You know, there. Good angle. We see the zone tech car. Fifth yeah, place. we got uh, Pablo in the uh, D3 Transformer. Um, with Don Enti in the white D3 Transformer. So uh, that's good. Good little exposure there. Getting the two together. I always like having the white and the red one together as well as the two reds. It's uh, obviously a very powerful looking scheme. That and uh, you know, I know all these Transformers supporters uh, worldwide. Uh, be loving seeing that uh, these are pace. Absolutely. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I was about to say, uh, hey, that was a pretty cool camera angle, but then I realized that the camera was fixed and the car was turning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we've got the this, Zotac this car again, as you good, mentioned. Yeah, this should be a good little battle here, you know, with these three. Um, hey, up, oh, or Drain kind of came in the middle of that, and there. That, that should be some quite clean racing there between Don, obviously Alessio, Don, and then Pablo. Um, I, I favor Pablo in the uh, D3 Transformer when he's at the back of a pack like that because when he's chasing someone, his, his lights are on. Um, he's definitely getting better at the one being chased um, as, his, as his race craft. And I wouldn't say concentration, but I think it's, it's you know, when you're constantly looking in mirrors and the, the distances to hit your braking points are there if you're looking in your mirrors all the time and looking at the brakes just in the real world you can miss those turning points and here it's so critical so um i, I like i'm looking forward to watching this one pan out it should be quite nice definitely watch those uh, that was a lot of speed coming through there you just got to watch you don't get all your wheels off over the curb um there you go. You can see when you carry just that little bit too much speed, you can get a bit of a tank slap going on. And, uh, you know, you, you can catch these cars, but the, the, the time's gone, right? The, the lap's gone at that point. 
Nels just did a uh, ran into 159 there. That's good. That's the black and gold car. Uh, good to see uh, Caesar Geezer out there. Witted Demon. Caesar, as we said before, you know Caesar's worked on this car for real. Um, the team owner John Pritchard, this this uh, black and gold team, uh, he's waiting for some stuff to come into uh, the U.S. from other countries to get his sim up and going. Uh, he'll definitely be in for the series two, but um, Caesar's representing the black and gold pretty good here, and and it's cool that he's actually worked on this car as well. So, um, hence why he's in that program. Um, and uh, and as we said before, he's paired up with. Uh, Pablo this weekend, they're racing each other, so if he can, if he can try and get himself up up into Pablo's world. Um, or Ben in the D3 Transformer there having a good battle with, my goodness, we've got some uh, got some banners in the road there, haven't we? Um, yeah, ben, Ben's obviously had a bit of a mix up there in the middle of all of this, getting through those first few turns, but Scott's behind him there. Um, that'll be again great for Scott as well to really hone in his ability. I mean, he's a pretty smooth driver as it is, but to have someone, you know, Ben's quick um, in that red uh, D3 Transformer, so that'd be nice for Scott to kind of hang with him for a bit and really get his pace up. I mean, if we're watching his times, I'm sure we'll see some quicker times here with that, so that's that's excellent there. Definitely. Here we see them picking up some speed, coming around that turn. Really wide yeah, turn. See that, that, see, that's off track there. That's what we got to watch it's, uh, it's so easy to just let the car drift, but there's, there's tenths, if not half a tenths, if not seconds in that, if, if we don't sort of watch that. But uh, obviously going to road, road Atlanta next. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that's a, another massively historical track. Um, always love Pablo's helmet in this. He just uh, gets into that Mexican <laughs> theme there. <laughs> He's up behind Antonio in your drain car. Yeah, Pablo's just got to really bide his time here. Like, there you go. Take the turn. Go for it. Now yeah. you got to try and get away from that because he, he's got some pace, uh, Antonio. So you just got to try and get up there. Oh, that'll happen. Yeah. See, that's what you got to watch because when he comes back on track, it's he can take you out. And, you know, we, we don't need to be losing cars. That in the real world would be a big penalty. See, there you hit him again. So that, that would be a call in. Um, you know, you see him going across the grass. Antonio needs to back it off. That's that's some dangerous stuff. Um, Pablo just lost three spots there, so not 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 polite. Um, that 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 maneuver was made. Position was lost. Don't come flying off the grass and hit the side of the car. <laughs> but that's my point. Yeah. So I know on that, but that's that's not good to watch. Is Pablo trying to trying to make? Make up some ground here. Yeah, so we've got the two D3 Transformers here. We've got Ben here, now we've got Antonio going up behind Ben. So Ben's obviously very high up the order here in positioning for race, the, the final race. So we, I'm sure he sees the green car and hopefully Audrain keeps this a little bit. But Ben Ben's pulled away a little bit here and that's, that's the best thing is to try and keep away from that. So I think, I don't know if Antonio's having a bit of a problem with the rig or just pushing too hard, I don't know, but uh, he definitely just needs to try and just keep it a little smooth here. Um, Pablo just needs to bide his time, um, try and keep it smooth. Um, again, he's racing his uh, cousin, uh, so he's winning that round, that this race right now. So he doesn't really need to get in front of Audrain. If he tries to and sure. lose and goes out as it doesn't finish, then obviously he loses this race because uh, you know Caesar Geezer will take it. So. You know, these are all things they got to be thinking about. It's not just about whacking the time in here, yeah? Here we got the Zotac car. Second place. So he's winning against Ben right now, because obviously Ben and Ben's in sixth. Brandon's winning that one. Um, so Ben got the first two. As polite, you know. Brandon, if he can keep it going on this one, he's. I love watching this fella race. Right. It's uh, it's clean, it's mean. There's a, there's, a, there's a couple of times like we're seeing with everyone where they're just pushing the track limits a little bit. Um, again, it's pretty easy to do that round here. Um, you know, you can make a lot of time by just rolling. Or see the, like the wheel there, just a little over it, the wheel over there, a little there. So it's you know, it's it, you, you've got to 
we just got to kind of watch that. But this is why we kind of wanted to put this in. One, it's a classic track, right? And everyone's watched thousands of laps around here. But it, it really, you have to be very disciplined with yourself to just stay within those track limits. Um, there's obviously a tremendous amount of time can be gained by not doing so. Um, but they're tough to see too, you know. I mean, that was a great turn there by Brendan. That was really nice. Um, coming down the front straight here. Back in the days gone by, you used to have people standing on that pit wall holding signs out, telling the drivers what to do. Now they have radios, now they have digital boards, computers. You know, when I was younger, I was where I always remember being in Poe in France and dad, you know, the, 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 the pit board area was the other side of the track. So you're on a radio and someone would say, put this time up and tell them how far they're behind the other guy. And you have to lean out over the pit wow. wall, cars and by two or a mile an hour, you know, and uh, it was cool, you know, but don't have that anymore. <laughs> you know, it's, all, it's all digi boards, but you know, we, we still have a manual one. Um, if digital goes down, you still need to tell the driver and have a backup. Right? Gotta have a backup. So, uh, this is a good lap here from Brandon. Definitely. And yeah, we can see we're about halfway through the race, the third race today. So far, we've got one DNF. So, it's good to see people are still out there, still still competing. Yeah, I miss which one. I know it's coming around, but who is that? Which, one's, which one hasn't has gone off? Is it the American one? Yes. Or... Oh, Alessio. Mama. He must have had a pretty good shunt then. Um, could be Wi-Fi, um, but as we know, you know, big shunt can can end you off. Um, sure. We'll see, see what um, I love with this Forza thing, you know, when you get in the lobby set up, if there's any issues, it just doesn't let you get into the race. So once you're in, you're in, and I think that's super cool. You know, it keeps it keeps it good 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 race in here. Um, you can see a, a couple of times when the car jumps, that's just someone's Wi-Fi, uh, just a little bit going on. But it, it kind of adds <laughs> to the nuances of virtual racing, doesn't it? It's kind of like, oh look, he sped up. Oh look, he plonked out of the sky. You know, it's it's uh, it makes it a different bit of uh, viewing, doesn't it? Definitely. Stem car is coming up on the red transformer car. Yeah, oh Pablo. These guys should have a good little battle and they're both good racers. They're both pretty good. So I right, so this is pretty good. So behind so Cowan is the is the meat in the sandwich at the moment. Is you've got Caesar Geezer that wants to overtake Pablo who's in front of Cowan and they're fighting for a position. So Scott is the, uh, he's in the middle of that little, little crowd at the moment. That's pretty good. Um, great shot. Oh, Amazing no. how like BP and Mobile One and Rolex have just, it seems like you know, they're there every year, you know, it's strong partners for the real track and great that they feature in the virtual because it adds to the, adds to the flavor. The track wouldn't look the same without it. Definitely. No, I think it's part of that immersion and giving yourself the feeling that you're there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Here we see this the little in eighth place. This would be good. I hope um, Caesar can bring it in here for black and gold. Um, you know, this would be, this would be Caesar's good. Caesar's trying to make a move back there, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think, I know he's had a bit of tough time with his Wi-Fi sometimes, so it's, you know, when he gets a DNF, we know it's, it's, the, it's the Wi-Fi, um, which is a shame because he, you know, he's working all week, you know, this is really, these first two races are his practice, so if he does go out with Wi-Fi, it's tough because he loses a good 12 laps whenever he thing goes out to kind of really hone in, and this is the best learning, you know, we've all said it before, I mean, right now, right in the middle of the race, this is, this is how you can learn, this is how you can chase, um, obviously, power of the stem car is going to be educating you anyway <laughs> um yep. oh, yep, yep. well handled that was that was well kept together there but these are could have had a good opportunity to have a little poke on the inside there maybe he's got a little run here spread out good here again this is this is spread out good um 
that first lap's definitely a hairy one, isn't it? Absolutely. Everyone's getting uh, getting their bearings, kind of putting those learnings to play now. Two thirds of the way through this this final round, you know. Definitely. So it's Tim representing the uh, Beaver CBD. That's it. You know, it's. Uh, I wonder if Sid's watching this on the plane with his Wi-Fi. Probably paid his eight dollars or whatever he <laughs> had to pay on these. Probably more than that. Uh, but these days, but. Yeah, watching watching the race on Twitch TV. It's, uh, it's good stuff. Currently, currently in tenth place. It is cool, yeah. Yeah, we also got Nels, we got Brandon, so we got the D3 Transformer, we got Zotac. Um, ends up there in fifth, and the other Transformer. Things have kind of balanced out a bit now, and they've sort of stabled down a little bit. Absolutely. And more control of the track too it's good yeah and I, I would say if it, if it had the tire temperatures and things like that on i mean obviously in a real race you'd find as more rubber gets laid down grip picks up you know um you know as long as everyone's staying on line and really laying down that rubber as you can see i mean there's a pretty firm line on this track you know i mean when you see all the load here you can see where the wear is um you know and the abrasion is on this this sort of track. It did it, it tells so many stories. This track, you just look at it and you just think, you know, it's battleground, right? Battleground. It's cool. We got you can see the speed here, up M and the gears, and then obviously you've got your boost here going on here as well when the turbos kick in. Always great with these cars when they just you know spool up and suck in that air. It's great stuff. Um, gotta love the science behind it yeah it's uh i know in the states it's it's uh this it's, it's all about the superchargers isn't it these things have turbos but uh either way those two units give the engine a little bit more mojo <laughs> one's running solid in fourth there always consistent there he is, Don, in D3 Transformer, the white one. Cool. Yeah, so Don's behind uh, Zach here in STEM. Um, uh, was behind him. <laughs> so, uh, so easy to just, you can see there what happened, right? Obviously, Zach was checking his mirrors out, making sure if he was going for a dive, you know, hold his line. With just looking at the mirrors for that split second, you miss your breaking point. So. This is very much, you know, Don's got this. I, I love watching Don, you know, he, he, he's just, he's there, you know, and uh, it, it's really up to the others because he's putting the pressure on, he's keeping it consistent, walking around and uh, yeah, that's coming around and turn there. Well, you know, you have to say, actually, you know, when you look at, some of the other ones, I mean, he, okay, so Don's on the podium now, he's up in third, that's that's great, that's where he, you know, should be, normally is, right, it's just, you know, I think a couple of the other guys have just been running a little offline, um, as I say that, Don, just a little bit late breaking, but you can see that it's just when you hit that brake, the rear just starts to squirrel, um, but, but you know, you, you've got to stay within the lines, I think Don's, you know, on every point on that, it's really, really cool. Um, these two guys did good there, that's good, Ben. This is great. You know, Zach, obviously fifth here, Ben in fourth. Um, you know, Ben's quick. Um, and uh, that's great that uh, Scott's staying, uh, sorry, Zach's staying with him there. I think Ben's just probably just trying to keep it consistent now. He knows he's up against, uh, you know, Brendan. Um, Brendan's a little bit up the road here. He got a bit of clean traffic. Ben got caught in the, in the first few laps there. Um, and, you know, Brendan's pace has been picking up. Every race that goes, you know, Brandon's quicker and quicker. So, you know, this is this should be a good, uh, a good final round, a final week for this series, you know. But uh, I'm liking the choice of track here. The fact that they just raced as well here for real, so it's kind of makes it exciting. Absolutely. What well, I miss coming up here with the heat, you know, it's uh, even when it's dark or. 
or hot or cold. I mean, it's uh, thing can change in a in a heartbeat. Yeah, I mean, yesterday how it went from you know a rainy day uh, in the morning to in the afternoon it was it was warm. And the temperature definitely yep. made an impact to the to the track. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and like you were mentioning earlier about the you know, a few guys run out of fuel. You know, they're pushing the limits, and if you've just been running all wet and you're trying to work out your mileage, and then suddenly in the middle of the race it turns dry. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys will know from having raced because there's a lot of experienced teams out there that have come back in this period. You know, this is what they do professionally. You you don't see many gentlemen drivers now coming back into this. They're probably working, but you know, these are pro pro teams that are racing back into real stuff again. And you know, they they've been to these tracks many years in a row. So, but it is always a little tricky. You know, when you're trying to work out those the mileage and you know, when to fuel, of course, the competition's so close, as we're seeing in this virtual, it's so close. You, you, you're, everyone's pushing, everyone in the team's pushing, pushing the, as much of the envelope as you possibly can, um, whether it's pushing the tires longer. Um, but I think the biggest thing with this track is you've got to look after your goods, right? You have to look after the tires, look after the brakes, look after the bodywork, you know, because you don't want to be coming in and having early pit stops with anything. Um, it uh, just sure. mess, your, mess your weekend up. Um, but obviously, we don't have those those wear settings on this at the moment, being the fixed format. Um, but uh, definitely got some road rash going, haven't we? We do. Here we can see first place car, leading leading car here. Nels just clocking through. This is good. So we've got two more laps here. Coming through these. It's fun stuff. Just good flowing fast turns, knocking it down into... Uh, yeah, he took that. Probably four. Yeah, he took that in fourth. Yeah, that's just a little lift in it. Yeah, it's opening it up. But it's 160, and it's still going. Let's see this. Let's see when he lifts wow. up. See when the RPM. Bang. Ah, oh, mate. After turning. Oh, man. Wow. He keeps it in the lines. So there you go. Good, man. That's a quality turn right there. Yeah. Good line. Not too sure how many, I know Nels has been here a lot. Um, and uh, I think we're coming up, this is the final lap. So Nels is just, he's, this is the, you got one more lap and uh, it's over the end for him. And uh, so you see all those lights getting ahead. Did you see that car? So the lights that are flickering in front of you. Well, yep. that's all the fans that in the in the grass. So some of them have bonfires. Some of them have RVs with TV on, you know. There is <laughs> so much on it lap that the driver you're probably seeing different things every time you're going around so your concentration as much as this is a tough track your concentration gets can easily get pulled in multiple different ways but when you're in the moment you don't generally pick up on stuff like that but you know it can be you know perturbing especially as it starts to get darker and the sun comes down i mean it's uh you know as, as, we'll, as we'll see in a little while what it's like when it's dark you know it's uh it's pretty cool there's tim yeah, keeping it consistent I mean, I think yeah, the Viva car making these turns, trying to trying to get some position here. There's Arnold the Schwarzenegger up in the chopper up there, you know, in the chopper. <laughs> yeah. Getting the best views. Yeah, exactly. Coming around this turn here. Here's where it gets tricky, huh? You, you know about this turn. Yeah, I, 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 you know all these turns. I could just sit and watch this all day long. I love it. I mean, it's so, this just chucking it in. That's pretty good from Tim there. I mean, you see people when they're first getting used to this, they'll break and then turn in. It's a daunting corner mm -hmm. there. Once you've gone around there a few times, you go, yeah, I can chuck this in, flat and then lift. Because once you've thrown it in, you can break and downshift in a straight line rather than break and downshift in a straight line before the turn, you know, it's one of those things. Um, once you kind of do it and you make it through the other side, it's like, whoa, there's some time, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of time to be getting. Yeah. Let's see. Old Beaver Cup. Ninth place here. 
This is good solid run. Oh, look at that for a drift. Get in there, Jeff. Wow. Man, that's some... We should be at Long Beach between races, you know, when they bring the drifters <laughs> out. That was some solid stuff there. Well, I think we're just on with Don here. Don's uh, just finished his race. Um, Tim should be just coming across the line as well. That's him finished. So everyone's on their last last lap here now. That was a pretty solid solid lap. I, I didn't, when we were in the cars there, I didn't see too much wandering off. Um, it was a little bit of, you know, aggressive racing and stuff we saw from some. But, you know, you, you can sit here and be a little critical of that. You know, if, if someone's got a, a sim, that which I know some of the guys all most of the guys all have some pretty solid solid sims going on here so you're going to have wide screens and stuff like that but you uh you don't really know whether they've got the screen zoomed in and they're not seeing the mirrors you know because it's it's not like a real car you can't see as much as you want to see but even today you know with all the hands devices in the real car it's not like you can turn your head and look at everything you're pretty well anchored in I mean you see when you come down to the track when you get in and the straps are on you're anchored on with sure. a hands device, save your neck if you have a shunt, right? But that really limits your, your motion. You're only using your eyeballs, really. But, um, but you know, most of the time when you're driving, you're looking up front. And when you go past someone, you go past them and hope that they're not going to, you know, when you when you pass, you should hope the other person goes, okay, they got me, and <laughs> not, not keep on it. So, um, but I think all in all, that was pretty good. Um, Yeah, we've got the America car coming in to, to the finish line. Yeah, we've got the last few cars coming into the finish line. Going around this turn here. Oh, bummer. So, uh, Caesar did did not finish again. That's that's a bummer. Um, I feel it for all these guys when they don't finish because I know this is a they got family time and it's a day off work and I appreciate them all doing it and uh, and they're all having fun. It's a bummer when they, when something happens they they can't quite get it get it finished. But uh, great to have them all out here. All right, there we go. All right. Yeah, so we just wrapped up the third race of round four. Some exciting driving out there, you know? Yeah, I think um, I think we weaved a little bit more history into the of, of Sebring as well. But we, you know, there was some there was some there was some different things we saw there. I think we saw a little bit more pushing again. Um, you know, it's again it, just trying to find that track, finding where your limits are, finding what's going to hook a quick lap up. Um, I can't stress enough, really. If if you can't put loads of hours in, it it is it is tough. Um, I mean, it's uh, you know, so those guys that are in coming straight into it, say on a Sunday morning, and that's probably some of the first times they're in the sim. I mean, they're actually doing a great job um, because I think that's something that I've, has really amazed me is is how many laps you have to do virtually to be competent. And uh, you know, I think guys like Nelson who know these tracks like the back of their hand knows these cars like the back of their hand. People like, you know, Ben, you know, who drives the Transformer as well. He, you know, he knows it from an engineering perspective, but also done a ton of laps, you know, in, in his time on, on simulators. So it's, they're, they're, it's good stuff. They're, they're doing really good. Absolutely. And I think, you know, we early in uh, previous weeks, we saw Ben really kind of uh, distinguish his path, you know, amongst a pack, right? He was distinguishing himself amongst a pack. But now we're seeing Nelson come in and, and things are kind of shifting up. Um, looking at our current standings, um, you know, bringing, things have shifted a bit. Ben is still at uh, the top. Um, but really cool to see the Zotac car taking second place and just applying those, um, those learnings over the weeks to, to keep, you know, keep in second place there. Anything else stand out to you, Simon? No, I think because we had Ben and Brandon, so Ben Whetstone, Zotac, they were racing each other this weekend. You had Nelson and Don racing each other this weekend. So that's quite interesting how that panned out there. You know, you've, you've got a, a, 
you know, you would you would expect that. I have to say, well done, Brandon. I mean, you've just got in the middle of two seriously quick guys there, <laughs> um, you know. And obviously, as we move into from this last race, the changes that come in, you know, you can see obviously Nels uh, got another win there, right? So um, he's right up bumped. He's, 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 he's like we say sometimes over there in the UK, you're in there like swimwear, you know, so he's, uh, he's probably having a chuckle now, but um, no coffee shop this time. But um, yeah, so I think that's great to see. It, you know, that makes for a pretty good um, race, doesn't it? You know, when it starts up, I think we, you know, we've, we've got to probably just have a chat with some of the boys now and just about race start, you know, keeping inside the lines. Um, we'll have a good, good work with them all as well this week to try and, you know, get them used to Road Atlanta, which we're moving on to next. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Definitely. Now, excited for our final week next week. Um, we've got Road of Atlanta, as you mentioned, um, but there's more to come. We've got Pit Talk coming up next. Uh, so make sure to tune in for that, and we'll be right back. That was good, that other screen came up. Now the guy warned Seth that it's gonna look like no one lives here, but there are people there and you don't wanna fuck with them. Yeah? 